This is a quick guide to help you get the Ashen Curse and complete all the accommodations for the Heart of Fire Tall Tale. To start out, you should head to Moro's Peak Outpost and go to the tavern where you can find the Tall Tale Book. After you selected it, head back to your ship and the first place you'll be going to is Liar's Backbone. When you're here, you'll find this lever which will open up a secret area behind this big stone. As you're walking in, on your left side you'll find the first out of 5 journals you'll need to find in total. Once you've clicked through it, head up these stairs and come over to this puzzle here. You'll want to turn these blocks in the order that looks like a T, a V, and a P. Then pull the lever and grab the notes and the key. From here you'll want to go to the north side in the water of Devil's Thirst. At this spot, dive down and you'll find the place where you can put the key to open up the door. While swimming through and exploring this area, just make sure you keep following these orange crystals and it will take you to the place you need to go. So swim through, do some quick parkour, swim again and you'll end up at the main room. From here you'll find the second journal in the middle right here. Now to finish all the accommodations, you'll need to fully complete the Tall Tale three separate times and here we have three different paths that you'll go through one at a time. Also each one of these paths has a journal behind them, so that will finish up the journals too. So to start out we'll be heading through the first path by using a firebomb and throwing it at the skull next to the T mark here. The paths are all pretty simple in general, but can be easy to die to some of the traps. As a tip, just make sure you are getting food from the barrels and also grabbing firebombs which will be helpful along the way. Once you get past this spinning wheel of fire, you can find the third journal here on the side by this parkour. So now just keep making your way down past these skeletons and many traps. You'll then finally reach the end of the first path, which will bring you to an open area with Flameheart's ship. They'll then speak for a bit and then leave the chest on the other side, so just make your way over to it. When you're here, grab the chest and continue down the path. You'll need to open up some doors by throwing firebombs at the skulls. If you have no more firebombs, just use the chest itself and let it catch on fire. Also on your way, there will be water spots where you can drop the chest of rage so it doesn't blow up and light you on fire. Now continue on through more traps, parkour, and skeletons, all while taking the chest along with you. It will finally bring you to a water path, which will take you back to the surface. When you're here, the last step is to hand the chest over to Pendragon, which ends the tall tale. Now you still need to do this two more times to get the two other journals and go through the other paths. So restart from the beginning until you get back to this main room. Now we'll do the second path by throwing a firebomb at the skull above which will open up the V door. Again head on through the traps, open the door with firebombs, and fight the skeletons. After you get through the first group of skeletons, open the door with the pulley and the fourth journal should be right here in the next room. Now keep going through. This part can be a bit confusing, but just make sure to light the two schools above, either with firebombs or lighting the skeleton's torches, and this will open up the door. You'll finish the second path once you get back to Flameheart's ship. Again, get the chest and bring it to Pendragon. Now we'll start the third path by throwing a firebomb at this skull here. In this first room, you'll need to light the two skulls on both sides to open up the door. Continue on through the traps and skeletons. Look at you. 
When you get to these wall traps, we'll be able to find the fifth and final journal. You can find it in one of the safe spots to the right to avoid the traps. Then use the lever and you'll make it back to the ship. Once you return the chest for the third and last time, you'll have completed all the accommodations and unlocked the Ashen Curse. And that is all for the Heart of Fire Talltale. I hope this guide helped, and thanks for watching.